What's going on everyone? Today we are doing an unusual style video for me. I don't do unboxings very often, but I got this grinder in the mail and I think you might be interested. This is the Niche Duo, brand new, hot off the press, was released on April 1st on their website without any sort of fanfare or announcements. As you can see, it looks quite a bit like the original Niche Zero. And as we open the box, you can see why they call it the Duo. It has espresso burrs and also it has separate filter burrs, which could be good, could be bad, could be a bit of a risk. Be interesting to see how that all kind of comes together. And on this flap, you've got the interesting information here. It shows you the guide ranges for each burr set. On here, it shows you that espresso is from zero to 20, and then filter is from 20 to 70. So one of the main questions that I have now, and probably you have as well, is how well the espresso burrs work for filter, and how well the filter burrs work for espresso. So that's something we're going to be looking at moving forward. Maybe not in this video, because it's a first impressions, but that's something we're gonna look at. Also down below, it has interesting information where it says that basically it's ready to use immediately and there's no need to do any alignment, even when changing burr sets. As we dig a bit further into the box, you've got the paper manual, which honestly is kind of a nice touch. I gotta be real with you. I feel like many manufacturers are using digital manuals and this is just nice to see. And I was a little concerned when I first saw this that says scan me for a copy of the instruction booklet. So having a paper manual honestly just feels nice to me. I don't know. So let's get this thing out of the box. As you can see, it's pretty well packed up. It's strapped down. It's got multiple layers of styrofoam holding it together. And I don't think this thing is going to see much damage or movement throughout the shipping process. So that's always nice. Nothing worse than getting a brand new grinder damaged in the mail. But now the time you've all been waiting for, let's free the Niche Duo from its styrofoam sarcophagus. But of course, first, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Stand Art Magazine. Nothing goes together quite like a cup of coffee and some quality reading. And Stand Art Magazine fits into that pocket of happiness perfectly. Each issue is like a snapshot of coffee culture at that moment in time with topics ranging from those in the forefront to those on the margins, and not to mention some eye-catching design and photography. An included sample of coffee from some of the best roasters in the world brings the experience from your fingertips to your taste buds. So hit the standart link in the description, head to standartmag.com slash Prometheus, or use codes Prometheus at checkout for a discount, and treat yourself to a subscription of Copy and Coffee delivered direct to your doorstep nearly anywhere in the world with a money-back guarantee. All right, so now let's get back into it. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Zero. It also has very similar tools, a brush and a screwdriver, which help you get the burrs out and get the burrs cleaned, I assume. You have the little coaster-like dealy for your dosing cup, which is nice. It looks like a very similar wood grain. You've also got the classic niche dosing cup. And I like this dosing cup because it's stainless steel and it's polished on the inside, which gives it very little to no static. So it's just a very nice, smooth piece of equipment. And of course, it's 58 millimeter and fits in your portafilter. Next up, let's take a look at the second set of burrs. So this is the container that holds your burrs, whichever set that's not installed in the machine. This one is the filter set of burrs. And as you can see, it fits nicely and cleanly in there. It's a, you know, little container. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, it's got a nice piece that goes between to not damage the burrs up against each other. It's, you know, I think it's thoughtful. It's a nice piece to have and keeps your burrs from getting dusty or anything weird going on sitting in your counter or somewhere else. And last but certainly not least, let's pull the grinder out and get a better look at it standing up on the counter. Honestly, it doesn't feel much heavier or much different than the original Niche Zero, and it looks, like I said, exactly the same. So it's kind of a trip to open it up. It's a little nostalgic, to be honest. It feels like 2020 all over again, and in a good way. All right, basically saying that the espresso burrs are what's installed, the filter burrs are in the box. Kind of figured that out already. Let's remove this film. Of 
For those who are curious, I just wanted to take apart the grinder and put the new burrs in and just see how quickly that could be done. So with just a quick glance at the manual, it just seems like a very easy and simple process. Removing the top adjustment ring is exactly the same as it is on the Niche Zero. You just pull out the top carrier and then there's only one screw holding in the bottom carrier. And that's pretty much exactly like the original Niche Zero. One thing I was immediately struck by was just how similar everything looks to the actual original niche. I mean, I keep going back to this point, but even the inside of the chamber looks almost exactly the same. It's just slightly bigger. All right, so that's basically the entire process. There was a couple quick cuts in here to show you a little closer ups of the parts and pieces coming out, but the total time it took for me to do this with just a quick glance at the manual was about a minute 45. So now that the Duo is out of the box and on the counter, let's talk first impressions. Of course, looks-wise, there's not much new to report. The Duo is essentially a larger version of the Zero. And you may find yourself asking why they skipped the Uno. Maybe because it's the loneliest number? Honestly, I have no idea. But because it's essentially a carbon copy of the original, the workflow and feel is more or less identical. Yet this could also mean it suffers from the same issues as the Zero, but time will tell. The real headlines for the Duo are its 83mm flat burr sets that come on separate quick connect carriers that can be swapped in and out in minutes. Now there are some portions of the carriers that are plastic, but it still feels pretty sturdy. I think the only possible concern point I have is these posts, which are integral to the fitment. The two sets of burrs, Filter and Espresso, are both from Mazer, and as expected, perform well out of the box. Also, the grinds they produce have a nice texture and grind distribution, and yes, some well-extracted and properly tasty espresso and filter coffee. But as this is still a first impressions video, I'm not going to get too deep into performance, as I still need some time to feel everything out and get the duo properly tested, but I wanted to quickly share some of the new bits and pieces. So as I wrap this one up and move into the testing phase, let me know what questions you have about the Niche Duo so I can make sure I get them answered in the full review coming in the next week or two. So drop them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank to this month's Patreon supporters, Stephen, Claire, Sam, Bound Coffee, Spookus, Noel, Cheryl, Thomas, Sean, Horison, Roe, John, Ads, Josh, Corey, Tim, Jason, Jeffrey, Jeff, Mike, Brandon, Tyler, JRC, Absolute, Stephen, Marco, Lord, Bumbly, Arthur, Techcom Advisors, Happy Camper, Devo, Ben, Monster04, Bruce, Kyle, Lilac, NK, Brooks, Henry, Sam, Nano Roastery, Pat, Suen Jr., Sergey, Matthew, Miroslav, Malkonig, Schlack, Shrey, Steven, Andrew, Pedro, Rami, Alex, Coffee Bros, Tom, Lars, Hugh, Gergen, Pax Coffee, and Robin E. And of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you have any questions on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and the upper right-hand corner right now. And last but certainly not least, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram, at Spromethius, for content throughout the week. My blog at Spromethius.com. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.